can I make sure that my, I can prevent my child from vaping? So there are two very, from prevention to cessation, any thoughts on that? Yeah, so I guess it's it's really important to remember that vaping is voluntary and it's preventable and there's kind of different ways to prevent it. So you've heard about the legislation, which in Australia, we're really fortunate to have. Um, it's in response to what we've seen overseas and the epidemic of youth vaping overseas. And so we've got strong legislation that prevents uh, or tries to prevent adolescents and young people from having access to nicotine containing um, vapes. Um, but as a parent and as carers and all of us, um, you know, that legal situation is always fluid and it's really important um, for us all to continue to lobby government and policymakers to um, advocate for strong anti-vaping regulations and that is that goes a long way towards prevention. Um, and then on the other side, um, in terms of dealing with your child or your young person and trying to prevent vaping, um, there's a, and as we're doing today, there's a strong education piece around that. So really having that conversation right from the start, um, whether that's whether you do that yourself, whether that's through an education program through school or through other healthcare workers, knowing what the harms are associated with vaping, um, talking openly um, with your child about whether they vape or whether there are other people that um, are the kids at school that they see uh, that vape and then what they would do in those situations if they were offered a vape or if they have already started to vape and experiment um, with it, then, um, you know, understanding that it's addictive and there's harms associated with it and then and then working out a plan um, in order to stop vaping. And that's where you don't obviously have to do that yourself. And that's where all of the healthcare resources um, are available to help that process.